I'm going to talk a little bit about these uh, kerosene heaters like this. Uh, they work pretty good. You need to change the wick every year. And to help you do that, they're kind of made in a simple way that they come apart pretty easily. But that's the good news and the bad news because they also have a tendency to come apart when you don't want them to. So I've done this. I've changed the <coughs> wick. And I... Um, which you could see in another video. You know, somebody else's. And um, one thing I've noticed about those wicks is some of them have pins that stick out and some of them don't. And this particular model uses the kind that doesn't have the pins sticking out. But anyway, um, so what I did was this cage has a tendency to fall off and these are supposed to be uh, in here. They go through. And I mean, it's designed to come apart easily, so, but I wired them so they can't fall apart so easily. I wired that. I wired this one. Some of them have screws here, but this one has this kind of a clip thing. So it has a tendency to fall apart. So I wired it. Use this soft wire, this kind of farmer wire, rebar wire. And then this base has a tendency to fall off. It's got a... Um, it twists and it just it's supposed to lock in but then it doesn't lock in very good so I wired it that was the trickiest thing because for some reason but for some reason there's these holes right there so I wired that to the foot so it can't rotate it can't rotate in the direction that where it comes off and this handle this is the one thing that's a little bit unfortunate this handle holds on this top and it just pulls out in and out there's nothing to stop it pulling in and out and it'll fall out and the top falls off so I wired this one in here so it can't fall off the bad news is this is going to be hot so if you go to pick it up you're going to need a, a good glove like a oven mitt or something uh, whereas if it was, it's supposed to rotate down and sit here, it wouldn't be very hot here. You rotate it up and pick it up. But anyway, and the reason uh, the reason you might want to pick it up is when you shut it off, it stinks. So what I always do is I carry it outside while it's still burning, and then I shut it off. So that's that's how I handle these things. And then I use normal kerosene. I don't use that. $15 a gallon kerosene. Um, but I don't use it like as a normal heat source. I use it in the garage. And it's also, I would consider it also emergency heat if, if your furnace fails. So it gets you through the night or something like this.